Hello guys and welcome back to another news update and unfortunately I've got some really really sad news today uh, so let's start off with uh, Koy Koyuri Fujita uh, has passed away at the age of 47 uh, they were an illustrator for a whole bunch of different things uh, one of the things that they've worked on, like children's books and all that as well, they've worked on a uh, Su uh, Su I'll try and say this right, Sukaden 5. Uh, they've worked on all sorts of different stuff, but along with that, also uh, the Castle in the Sky voice actor uh, uh, Fujio Tokita, uh, I hope I've said both of those names right, they've also passed away at the age of 81. Uh, again, I mean, Castle in the Sky is the biggest thing that I think they've worked on, but they've worked on quite a lot of uh, different things there as well. So, two two big losses with a voice actor and an illustrator both going. Uh, so, my heart goes out to the families, as always. Uh, hope the families will be okay. I know everyone's okay. Uh, but moving on from that, even more sad news. Uh, Captain... Subasa, uh, Rising Suns manga is going on hiatus until October, so it's going away for quite a big time, unfortunately. Also, uh, Yuru Yuri, I think that's how you say it, Yuri, Yuru Yuri, uh, their manga is going on an indefinite hiatus. Uh, the manga launched in uh, 2008. Uh, it's had three TV anime seasons, an OVA, it's had specials, but now the manga is going on hiatus, so again, uh, more sad news there, uh, but now I'm going to try and get into some slightly happier, cheerier stuff. So let's kick things off with Viz Media, they are now licensing Mari Okazaki as Will I be single forever their man uh, anime uh, try again their manga has now been licensed obviously by Viz Media honestly for me is terrible I, I hate that sort of art style but if you're looking for something that's definitely a bit different that is one for you uh, the manga will debut digitally anyway on July the 24th uh, so not far now from when that will be available. Now, live action Gangoose has uh, dropped its film trailer, and it's revealed a November opening. And again, mm, looks a bit cheesy, a bit tacky. Not normally my thing, but who knows? The trailer doesn't show much, so it could potentially be okay. Heading on over to Aniplex now though, and I want to eat your pancreas anime has dropped its second film English subtitle trailer, and as stupid as the name of it is, honestly, doesn't look too bad. So hopefully it'll be okay. But now heading in for my final, final piece of news, the Girl Who Leapt Through Time, their countdown website has revealed now its TV airings. So, uh, honestly, I've not actually been to the site, so I'm not sure when, but I believe July 20th will be its first Japanese um, airing. Uh, it'll be uh, airing at 9 pm Friday, so yes, tomorrow. Uh, which will be on NTC uh, I think that's all the details that I have on it though yeah either way if you want to know more head on over to their countdown website I'm sure there will be more details revealed on there I've only just noticed my webcam is not working but it doesn't matter because this has been it for today guys and I will see you guys next time so bye for now guys bye